Hello and welcome to this quick video. This is a quick video to let you know there is another cool project kicking around in the hobby and thank you to those of you that got in touch to let me know that this existed because sometimes these kind of things pass me by. Now this is about the new Uni receiver software which basically makes your radio a lot smarter so it can bind to all the different flavours of AWCST. Now back in the middle of last decade FreeSky came out with a Trinus radio powered by early OpenTX, had AWCST version 1.0 and pretty much revolutionized the way that we all flew. Up to then, lots of us using Spectrum for Tarba and cheap and cheerful radios. And although the Free Sky Tyrannus was cheap and cheerful, it was incredibly versatile, had telemetry, and was incredibly powerful thanks to OpenTX. I got one. Most of the pilots flying at the time got them, and we all kind of ditched our old radios and moved onto it. And that was using the AWCST version 1.0 firmware, so binding was easy. However, it got more complicated because then there had to be two versions of AWCST version 1 firmware for the receivers and the radios, one for EU and one for non-EU. And then there was some fixes and changes, which then came out with AWCST version 2, again in two flavors. So you ended up with four different flavors of AWCST for the radio, and your radio and receiver had to be on exactly the same ones in order for everything to bind. I made videos about it at the time. Incredibly complicated, much more complicated than it needed to be, and FreeSky really dropped the ball and had an opportunity to make this so much easier by bringing out some firmware on the radio that would actually figure out what the receiver was using, would be able to give you information about what the receiver was using, and even do cool stuff, like for example when you put the receiver into bind mode, the way that the LED flashed would tell you which flavour and which version of AWCST was on the thing, so that you could easily make sure that the radio matched. FreeSky did zero of that. However, it looks like somebody has. So I want to make you aware of this. If you're flying some of the older technology using AWCST version 1, version 2, whichever EU, non-EU version, there is now a solution. Now this is a whole system. It's flashed onto the receivers, goes onto the radio, there are lower scripts, and it does everything that I've just described. And when you go to bind, it will figure out what the receiver is, and it will talk to it in the language that it needs. The only downside is, at the moment, it appears that the flashing of the receiver is something that's locked, thanks to FreeSky. So that flashing of the receiver, you have to buy this receiver with this UniRx software on it, unfortunately. Who knows if that will change in future. But this is one of the great examples of some of the amazing stuff that goes on in the community that fixes problems that we have that manufacturers create. Look at things like the WTOF system for the DJI goggles. Vendors who don't continue to support their customers and innovate and listen to feedback and try and make things easier get a big red mark in my book. And this is one of those things for FreeSky they could have easily done, but it's been left to a third party to sort it out. So I'll put links down below if you're interested in this great feature. And I hope that FreeSky embrace this stuff and continue to support it. And who knows, maybe learn a lesson or two about what it takes to make things easier for customers in future. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.